Okay, so here's a short video on the satellite tracker project. Okay, so this is the manual drive of the azimuth and elevation with G-Predict. So there's G-Predict. And there's a look at the hardware. There's the four relays that drive two relays per motor for power and up down or left right. There's the little Arduino. And over here, hanging down on a pencil is the pitch, roll, yaw, accelerometer, and magnetometer. That gives us the magnetic heading. That's the elevation rotor. There's the azimuth rotor. Okay, so now it is engaged. I will change the azimuth 20 degrees. And there we go. And there we go. That changes, and now I'll kick up the elevation 20 degrees. And that pitches up 20 degrees. Overshot a little bit. Let's see where it went to. Actually, 15.7. So there is some inaccuracy as it's a kind of a bang bang controller for the motors, but it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, in azimuth, I'm almost on off, only off by a few degrees, and in elevation, well, I'm off by about four, it would seem. Um, has a nice little feedback, so there's the red azimuth and red, red elevation. And here you can see this kind of dynamic display. Ooh, there things are moving, jumping around a little bit. Ooh, things are getting a bit active. There we go. All right, let's kick the elevation up a 20 degrees. So the little spot goes up higher, and the target is where the antenna is pointing, and it kind of settles in the right place. Let's back off on the azimuth. Go to, I don't know, 166, move over a little bit. You know, the whole. The whole thing is rotating now. Oh, Jesus. Anyways. And you see it kind of centers over there. So we're kind of where our circle. So it's the command and actual. The target is the feedback. G-Predict, a wonderful, wonderful program written by, I'm sure, a super nice guy. And uh, that's it. That's the... Uh, that's the project so far in its experimental wiring stage. Next stage will be to uh, fix, fix everything up correctly and wire it more robustly. Uh, where is the Arduino program? Uh, yes. This is the SAT tracker. It's just Let's read it quickly. It does work through Wi-Fi, and it does print out the um, uh, commanded azimuth, commanded elevation, actual and uh, azimuth and elevation on a web page so you can kind of monitor it. You can monitor those things through G-Predict but I, I also have a, a little bit more information whether it's engaged, whether the servo is driving, whether or not there's a sensor error. Every once in a while when you turn the turn the power on you get a sensor error and, and everything goes wrong so um, I'm publishing that on a small web page and the idea is to have this whole thing outside with only five volts and the uh, 26 volts AC running out to the, to the rotor complex and five volts for the Arduino and for the relays and no ethernet cable. Everything would work via Wi-Fi. That's the plan at least. So you can see every once in a while the magnetometer just uh, has a kind of a hiccup 
and causes it again, causes this to move. So I may put a little bit more hysteresis on that if that becomes a problem. I've been tightening it and tightening as much as I can, but I don't want to tighten it up too much uh, because I think, you know, a, a kind of a loose azimuth control and elevation control within five degrees is probably enough, you know, so we don't get any of this hunting. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.